Today we're checking out some new UI kits and design systems launched by companies like Apple, Stripe, Google and more. Also, I'll be sharing a design competition with prizes worth $10,000, which is kind of crazy. The first one we're checking out is by Apple. Yes, Apple is now officially on Figma. They have released the new Vision OS UI kit along with the Vision OS developer kit, which developers can also use to create Vision OS based experiences. Now this free kit comes with a get started guide. So it's going to guide you on things like font installation, copyright, etc. So it has all the components ranging from buttons to sliders to input boxes. I'm sure you've seen the Vision OS trailer and this is exactly the UI they used in that trailer. I love this new morphic design that you can see here. As you can see, this nice glass plus new morphic blend that they're going with. Shout out to Michael for the new morphic trend. This kit is super Figma friendly. You will have different variants. So you can switch between dark mode. You can add light mode here as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a lot of interactive components in this kit. So that's a huge disadvantage. Apart from the components, there are templates. So you can see how in a real world environment, you'll be able to see the vision OS appear in a room. So here they're laying out sort of the viewport for where you can add elements in. So this is a large viewport. Then there's a smaller viewport for things like settings and menus. Then you have an even narrower one for lists and contacts, etc. This next one is called Playgrounds by Figma. Now they have this library of playgrounds here, which is basically introducing new features and helping you learn new features. There is a variables playground. It will be an entire kit constituting of various components which are fit in with variables. So essentially it's teaching you how to use variables using a very interesting way with examples on how different things can be done. There are these different components which you can reuse in your own designs, but also which help you learn new things. So here it is asking you to change the variable layers from here, from colors to uh, spacing. So it expands it here or you can change the properties of the color from light to dark. So you're basically getting to experiment with designs that Figma has created for you. You can use it in your own designs. Now they've done this for different features and purposes. So there is an advanced prototyping one, there's a dev mode one, and there are some even for Fig Jam as well. So not just for Figma. So just like Apple, Stripe is also here on Figma officially. Recently, they've launched something called Stripe UI Toolkit. And essentially, this is their entire design system laid out in Figma, which is awesome. You have a, a getting started guide. So you have all the documentation, the design essential design system explanations, etc. And you have app examples on how certain apps have used their UI kits. You also have something called patterns. Here inside the patterns, you have onboarding patterns, location patterns, error state, etc. So patterns that UI designers often have to use again and again. Now in the components, it's complete. It seems like material design, but created by Stripe. And here, as you can see, everything is laid out even with interaction. So if a button is clicked, there'll be this blue border across the button. So you can interact with it similarly. Each button has its own variant. So this button can have multiple variants, which you can change from here. So secondary, destructive, large, small, medium. So if you copy this button anywhere in your designs, you can change the properties from right here. See, it switches from primary to secondary to destructive. Uh, medium to large, large to small, and you can remove the label, you can play around with it. This, in my opinion, in a lot of ways is better than material design in the sense of its customization as well as variations that they've provided to you. They also have their icons kit. You know, I'm a huge sucker for icons and this really brings it in. These icons are incredible looking, one of the best looking icons I've seen from a major company in a long time. The soft edges and the round borders make everything look nice friendly and fun at the same time. Apart from this, they have given proper dashboard layouts with everything laid out for you. So not only is this a UI kit, it's like a template as well. One plus one free. 
everything is so meticulously designed as you can see even here they have given all the variations of designs that you can lay out and you can even see all the graphs are are already created for you and once again you can edit these graphs on your own it's very flexible i think it's an all in one toolkit it's, it doesn't even require you to download or any plugins or anything to create graphs everything is available and it's amazing how close it is to beating material design in some ways now i'm sure you're waiting for the contest again this contest is not sponsoring me or they've not reached out to me i just saw it and i wanted to share it with you guys this contest is called design into ai 2023 and the submission date is very close so submit as quickly as possible they are giving away ten thousand dollars worth of prizes if you want to know more about it i'll have a link in the description apart from that you just have to enter your details and the big thing is how can you design with prompts using chat gpt using in fact any other design tool you can mention the tool here and you can then say which kind of prompts you've used and you can even give the link to your submission if you know how to write good prompts or if you know how to use ai design tools go ahead submit your designs this could be a big opportunity for a lot of you guys i rarely see good indie work independent work being done so Kirti here has created this incredible modern layouts in Figma. I can't even begin to define how well done this is. She's created all these amazing responsive or adaptive modern layouts which you can use for your own landing pages or your own design concepts. Apart from that, she's also linked where you can download these cool fonts from. You always wonder which font is this? She's given the links to every font being used in this entire kit. A, a very trendy, very well-made and very well-structured as well. So you can use it for different purposes. Not only web design, but app design or even graphic design for that matter. I love to see individual creators build something completely free for people who just want to use it and will find it useful. And I can guarantee you can convert these in one click into actual websites with Framer and stuff like that. I'll have links to all those kind of tutorials as well, but this is incredible. I am, I am crazy about this UI kit. I think we all should start using this. And the fact that there are so many options is just crazy. And yes, she has created a lot of other cool stuff as well. Responsive dashboard, magnetic cursor, hover buttons, rainbow mesh. So many other things that you can use in your UI designs as well. Now this is the official Google TV community page and nobody noticed it. I wish more people did. Here as you can see the Google TV kit is being launched and this Google TV kit is very extensive much like material design. As you can see you have a lot of documentation with relevant links to the documents and the descriptions and you have an entire style guide as well. So you have everything from typography along with links required, elements, icons, as well as keyboard layouts. You don't often see keyboard layouts that you can even edit here. And of course, you then have all the components being used in different environments. So if there's this Netflix-like TV interface, I think this is really awesome. If you're looking to create like a Netflix replica, try using this. This has all the guidelines and you can always reference the Google TV with it. Surprise, surprise, again, they have all the variations here in the form of variants. So you can switch between radio button. So if I copy any one of these anywhere else in my design, convert it from a switch to a radio button, to a checkbox, to a switch with icon. So whatever variations I want, I can quickly switch from the Figma tab right here. And you can even select between selected and unselected, which makes it so much easier to start animating as well. I wish it was updated for variables, but hey, even if it isn't, it's very extensive and very easy to use. This next resource is crazy good. It's called the design system resources, very simple. Platforms where you can maintain design systems, tools, etc. Then you also have accessibility platforms where you can check for accessibility of your design kits. You even have colors. So if you're struggling with creating colors for your systems or UI kits, this is a good resource. And you have all the various Figma plugins you can be using with your UI kits and design systems to make your design better. You also have design system metrics as well as miscellaneous resources you can kind of get. So design system directories, galleries, repositories, and so much more. So if you want one place where you can search for the entire web 
of design systems, UI kits, resources, etc. And they've also created a lot of other resources as well. So go check this website out, see what you can find here, which is useful for you. All right, guys, so if you like these resources, give a huge thumbs up to this video. It supports the channel a lot and it's free of cost. Also subscribe to the channel for weekly videos just like this. Every week you'll be seeing my face and you'll be seeing some amazing resources and tutorials. I'll see you next time. Take care. God bless.